What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andre and today I'm going to be doing an update on CHPT stock. First of all, brief information about this company. ChargePoint Holdings Incorporated provides electric vehicle charging networks and charging solutions in the United States and Europe, I have to admit. It offers a portfolio of hardware, software and service for commercial fleet and residential customers. For now, their total market cap is $6.9 billion. They have a revenue of $146.49 million with a negative net income of $197.02 million. They have a total cash of $145.49 million with a total debt of $59.75 million. And uh, they have a current ratio of 1.92 that is above uh, required level for the majority of uh, investors of 1.5 and let me show you uh, recent news that uh, might be a good catalyst for this company we are on seeking alpha and uh, on april the, on april the 10th we have this article and uh, it's titled Investors Trap for Electric Vehicle Sector Disruption. And several bullets. The electric vehicle sector is likely to see more ups and downs as President Biden's uh, $2.3 trillion in infrastructure plan works uh, its way through Congress. Whitbush Securities thinks there are two key components of the Biden plan for investors to focus on. First, Analyst Dan Eves says to expect an expansion of the tax credits currently valued at $7.5,000 for EV vehicles to the $10,000 uh, range or potentially higher in a tired system. Other point of sale rebates uh, could also be put uh, into the wide ranging infrastructure bill to catalyze consumers to head down the EV path, he notes. The Whitbush team also anticipates a lifting of the 200,000 per manufacturer ceiling on the credits being phased out which will restore the EV tax credits for stalwarts like Tesla and General Motors. Another linchpin of these EV initiatives will be centered around massive expansion of charging stations around the US over the next decade. Today we are roughly 100,000 public charging ports with another 400,000 needed over the next decade to support this groundswell EV green tidal wave for consumers tracking with the goal of 500,000 by 2030. Bullish for ChargePoint, Blink, among others. And $15 billion of the Biden plan dedicated to this key endeavor. In addition, the Biden plan includes electrifying 20% of the yellow school bus fleet among other areas of EV expansion slash investments. Congressional adoption of all of parts of the plan could provide a tailwind for electric vehicle companies like and here is the bunch of companies and among them we can see ChargePoint Holdings. Down the road. Whitbush forecasts the EV market represents a $5 trillion total addressable market over the next decade, with many EV OEM supply chain players poised to be major winners. And this is the upside of, of the charge point. And uh, here is the article that was published on uh, April 15th uh, on uh, Investor Place, and it uh, titled Why the charge point pullback could continue. And uh, the subtitle is uh, the infrastructure bill may be good news for charge point stock, but it's not enough. And uh, the main concern about this article that uh, they have rather weak uh, financials because the price of $23.89 per share is uh, rather overvalued for the opinion of the author. And the second concern that uh, the majority of EV owners will recharge their cars uh, at home. And on top of that, we can see uh, the process of range extension with the batteries on uh, new EV manufacturers. I think we will see in the nearest future, in a matter of uh, one or two years, cars that uh, will be able to have uh, a range of uh, 500 miles plus. And uh, it will be a mass market uh, cars, uh, not uh, Lucid or uh, top Teslas. And this might be a concern for potential investors to invest in this company because the majority of chargers will be at home. And that's why, uh, in the opinion of the author, uh, ChargePoint uh, won't have uh, this opportunity to charge all the vehicles. But in my opinion, 
ChargePoint has a huge advantage because uh, their total addressable market not only uh, personal charge stations but uh, interstate charge stations, uh, fleet charge stations and here you can see the list of their partners and customers and basically they have an intention to put a charger on each and every parking lot in the United States and Europe. And uh, with the mass adoption of EV cars, uh, we will see a huge spike uh, in uh, automobile tourism and uh, this will also give a catalyst for the company to put more chargers in the public places. That's why I think uh, ChargePoint has a huge future. Basically, all this information leads us uh, to institutional investors and since I made my previous video, we have uh, recent filings and uh, at the beginning of April, we have only green lines that indicates that these investors are buying. And uh, we have uh, several options. Uh, one company has a call and a put option, uh, but uh, let me show you that they are bullish because they have uh, call options for $777,000 and they have a put options uh, for amount of uh, $547,000. On top of that, uh, they have uh, $360,000 in stocks and uh, this company, West Oak Capital, opened their position for about $1.79 million. And before we dive deep uh, into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. Well, I made my previous video at uh, the beginning of April, right here. And I encourage you to enter your position while we have uh, price action across these Fibonacci levels. And as you can see, we hit each and every level and even uh, touch the 0 0.786 level and then bounce back. And let me show you this extremely bullish candle. This is a hammer candle and it is extremely bullish because uh, the psychology behind this candle is that uh, at the opening price right here, right at the 0 0.65 Fibonacci level, bears push the price down, all the way down to next Fibonacci level, but then bulls regain the control and they push the price back and even close above the opening level. And that's why this volume is green and it is uh, almost the best volume among four previous volumes right here. And that's why it might be a trend reversal. On top of that, we hit 0 0.618, 0 0.65 level and I've told you that uh, this is the most probable level of trend reversal and I put the Fibonacci retracement tool from the bottom of this wave to the top of this wave. It is the first wave before we have a double bottom and this gives us these levels. Even though if you want to adjust this level right here, we hit 0 0.786 level and then bounce back to 0 0.65. With all bullish signs, like double bottom right here, like a hammer candle with a good volume, the total volume of this initial wave is way bigger than the retracement right here. As you can see, we have very low volume right here and uh, we have consistently growing volume at the, for the past uh, month uh, and a half. And that's why uh, this is a great point for you to add your position as an investor. And basically, let me show you the targets. To project the targets, I pull the Fibonacci extension tool from the bottom of uh, this uh, structure to the top, right here. And uh, our lowest point at the, at the lowest point of the retracement. And we have uh, two targets. First is right here at 1.1 extension level and it is roughly $59.47. And the second point uh, is uh, at 1.618 extension level, it is at $84.09. And after we hit these targets, we will define the retracement in the fourth wave and uh, we will define the fifth wave targets, but it's uh, to be determined in the future. With that being said, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. See you guys and girls next time. Bye.